irreversible operation was reversed. By a San Francisco surgeon who wasn't sure it could be done. A Bay Area woman says she's found relief from debilitating pain thanks to a surgery that may be the first of its kind in the world. Doctors in San Francisco reversed a spinal fusion in her neck. Now let's see you put your chin down on your chest. Good. Let's see you put your head back. Great. And let's For most of the last right. decade, moving her head the wrong way left Bobby Jo Ramirez in pain. So much pain, she decided to risk an experimental surgery. Great. Every time I would fall asleep in a position, I would stay in that position for two hours. And then when I would naturally go to move or turn, I would wake up from the pain. An accident a decade ago left this former Sonoma County Sheriff's deputy with the equivalent of a triple spinal fusion. Doctors placed a solid piece of donor bone in her neck to replace damaged vertebrae. But something went wrong. In the process of healing, uh, one of the vertebrae tilted downward a bit. Uh, she kept on having to tilt her head backward because the rest of the spine and body were tilted too much forward. San Francisco surgeon Kenneth Light laid out a novel approach, literally cutting through bone to reverse the spinal fusion without damaging her spinal cord. And, and I told the patient uh, I didn't believe it had ever been done before. This would be the place through which the bone would be separated. But this surgery, the reversal, was a radical approach. That's because spinal fusion is considered permanent and a last resort for patients suffering from extreme back or neck pain. In a five-hour surgery, Dr. Light cut and separated where the bone met the vertebrae above it. He then carefully fitted a disc replacement. It's an artificial device more common in Europe than the U.S., which allows the vertebrae to flex more naturally. Uh, we had to improvise as we went. We weren't sure that we could cut it in a way that it would be stable, that it would accept the disc. We weren't sure we could separate the vertebrae after 11 years of having a spinal fusion. And here you can see how nicely the new disc replacement fits right into the center portion of the spine. Though Bobby Jo is still early in her recovery, she's been able to regain movement in her neck and says she no longer suffers from nearly constant headaches. For her, the risk of surgery paid off. If he couldn't do it, then I knew where I was going to be at, that that was going to be the point, okay, this is what it is and this is where I have to go from. Dr. Light believes this initial success could lead to alternatives for patients when spinal fusions don't end the pain. So we believe anyway that in some cases um, people who have trouble from fusions can have the operation reversed and uh, uh, up until this day um, these were only theories and concepts and now it's been done. Dr. Light is now planning to publish the results of this surgery and the techniques he used.